Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here with us this morning. We're here to celebrate one of the newest dog parks in our community um, here in District 7. It'll be called K9 Kimmy's Corner Dog Park. And before we continue with the program, I would like to recognize a few of our uh, special guests that we have here this morning. For District 7, Council Member for District 7, the Honorable Vanessa Perez. Council Member for District 8, the Honorable Alisa Cigarroa. We also have representing Lorraine Independent School District Board of Trustees for District 2, Mr. Guadalupe Gomez. With us also is our interim city manager, Mr. Samuel Keith Selman. Representing our departments from the Convention and Visitors Bureau, Ms. Selena Villarreal. The Economic Development, Miriam Castillo. Representing the Fire Department, Chief Guillermo Hurd. Representing our Parks and Recreations Department, Mr. Juan Jose J.J. Gomez. Representing our Police Department, Chief Claudio Trevino. And representing our Utilities uh, department, our director, Arturo Garcia. Please stand for an invocation from Chaplain Luis Reigns from the Laredo Police Department. Please bow your heads. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In, your, in, in uh, your infinite wisdom, Lord God, when you created the universe, you blessed us with all living creatures. We especially thank you for giving us our pets who are our friends and who bring us so much joy in life. Our pets provide us with companionship, amusement, and unconditional love. Today we ask your blessing for this new facility, Canine Kimmy's Corner Dog Park, for our four-legged friends. Kimmy, a canine service dog, was abandoned and forgotten puppy who went on to provide invaluable service to our community in 2005. From then on, Kimmy was involved in many operations with the department, including providing protection to U.S. presidents that visited Laredo and other dignitaries. Our pets are truly valued members of our families and community. May our pets always be treated with the love and respect deserving of all your creation. We thank you today for facilities such as this park that provide community members opportunity to exercise, spend leisure time, and build community and friendships while allowing their dogs to have a safe place to run, jump, and play. As we officially dedicate this park today, we humbly ask that you bless this park, Lord God, for the glory and honor of your creation. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chaplain, for um, those kind words. And now I would like to call upon our council member for District 7, Ms. Vanessa Perez. Hello, everyone, and thank you for being with us this morning for the dedication of District 7 and soon to be District 8's newest amenity. K9 Kimmy's Corner Dog Park. I want to start by thanking the citizens of Laredo for making this project possible. I also want to thank management for their support and Ale Quintanilla for organizing this event and the support that she provides for District 7. This project was citizen driven. It began with a message from Ms. Carmen Macias Ramirez where she shared that her and some neighbors enjoy taking their dogs to the park and were looking forward to a dog park in the area. She identified this soccer field as an ideal location and we began working on the park that you see here today. I want to thank our amazing Parks and Recreation Department for bringing this park to life. Coach Gomez and his staff manufactured these amenities in-house and placed everything that you see here, including the fence and gating the entire area. So thank you. <clears throat> we designed it for smaller dogs with a gate that opens to the soccer field so when games are not being played, the bigger dogs can have enough space to run freely. 
We have supplies for, for people to clean up after their pets and a fountain with fresh water for everyone to um, have. I also want to thank our amazing police and fire department for giving us the inspiration and providing the dedication of canine officer Kimmy's story, which I'd actually like to read the story now. <clears throat> the story of how Kimmy became a Laredo Police Department canine is slightly different from the rest. While most of, most of the canines from the department come bred specifically for police work, Kimmy was a discovery. In October of 2004, Kimmy, named after the cartoon character Kim Possible, was an abandoned puppy in a developing area of town. Kimmy was discovered in the middle of the road covered in fire ants and dirty by an investigator with the department. Kimmy was taken to the house of another investigator who dreamed of becoming a canine handler and began training to become an explosives de detection canine. After a year of hard work, Kimmy achieved success in becoming certified on October 22, 2005. <clears throat> During her storied career, Kimmy led to the di discovery of imp improvised explosives, helping her federal partners convict two persons for the crime. Serving the community of Laredo valiantly, even ensuring the safety of President George W. Bush, President Clinton, and former First Lady Hillary Clinton during their visits to the city. Although Kimmy was not one to relish in the limelight, she did participate in many school presentations, ensuring that the students knew her story and how with a little hard work, you can grow up to be anything you want. Because just like her namesake, anything is possible. After four years of dedicated service, Kimmy was retired in 2009 to live at home with her handler and enjoy a well-deserved retirement. I invite the community to enjoy this dog park and honor Kimmy's service and legacy. I do want to mention that this area will become part of District 8 after our redistricting process is finalized and Council Member Alyssa Cigarroa will represent the area well. I'm forever grateful for the opportunity to have served the amazing people of this area and to have left this field better than I found it. In that spirit, I'll close with some words to live by, as stated by Tony K. Brown. The, the greatest thing you will ever give to the world is your commitment to leave what you find in better condition than the way you found it. Leave a single light in a place where, you, where there was once darkness so that those coming behind you may see further and begin where you left. So, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Venice, um, for those words. And to expand a little bit more um, on, on this project, we would like to call upon our, our interim city manager, Mr. Samuel Keith Selman. Thank you and good morning. Just a couple of comments irrelevant to this. I, I, I believe we have a story that's made for television. I think we've got a story here that major motion picture story. It's a great story. Uh, and, and it's a, uh, this dog park is not just a tribute to her, but to, to the folks of this community and this district who are committed to animal care. This is a, this will become a place where people socialize as well as their pets. And those are the things that make a community. And I'm very thankful for the council member's commitment to that, the contribution of funds for this facility. And we look forward to, to a very busy and active community gathering place here at this location. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Selman, for, for your words. And to expand a little bit more about the department and the canines, as you can see them here with us this morning, is the police uh, chief, Mr. Claudio Trevino. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to thank uh, Councilmember Perez, Councilmember Cigarroa for, for, to, for making this happen and for the invitation to be here to uh, honor one of our very own canines, uh, Canine Kimmy. Um, the support that we get from council, the support that we get from management make us one of the better departments in the, in the state and in the country. And nothing can be possible without the dedicated service of, of our officers. Our officers are out there every day, day in, day out, 24-7, uh, making this uh, community safe. And 
w along with those officers, we have a great team of canine officers themselves. Uh, we have 11 canines that patrol our streets, provide those additional services, and help make this community uh, the safest community on the border. Uh, just a few days ago, we have a successful story to, to share where one of our, our canine um, officers discovered a very important uh, piece of evidence in a case that we have been searching for, for several weeks. Uh, we discovered a, a weapon that had been used in several, several uh, crimes, uh, drive-bys, a uh, fully automatic pistol that, that we took off the streets with the help of, of a canine officers. So these successful stories, uh, we can have a list that, that we can talk about for, for many hours, uh, but this was one specific one that happened here recently. So with regards to canine Kimmy, again, the story of, of her becoming uh, one of our canines is, is special. Um, if we have to put the, the story to, to film, I think we'll call an Eric Estrada to play the canine handler. <laughs> and uh, to expand on that, uh, I'm gonna ask uh, the, the very own investigator, that, that handler that worked with uh, canine Kimmy to expand a little bit about the story of our canine and you'll understand that the fitting image of Eric Estrada could be, could be uh, w one to recruit. I'll invite uh, investigator Martin Guerra. Good morning, my name is uh, Martin Guerra. I was the canine handler for Kimi. I'm honored that the city of Laredo has done this for her. And I wanna thank uh, the police department for giving me the opportunity to become a canine and serve the community of Laredo and make it a safer place to live. Um, as you know, some of the story, um, she was located in 2004 in a de developing area and was given to me by now uh, Sergeant Luna. Um, it was a funny story, he got home late that night and gave me the, the little puppy and said, here's your canine. I always wanted to be a canine handler, but I didn't have the opportunity until uh, he showed up with a, with a canine. Um, we trained her, she was able to pass the certification and she started working for the department in 2005. Um, we were able to assist the Alcohol, Tobacco, Farms and Explosives uh, Agency, a uh, federal agency to uh, find some improvised devices. That, that was a, a big deal for, for the safety of uh, Laredo. And uh, we got, or they got to convict two people for, for that crime. Um, she would participate in, in uh, making the, the visits of dignitaries, uh, such as uh, George Bush, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, Ms. Pelosi, a, a bunch of different dignitaries. And uh, that gives us uh, a, a great deal of, of uh, happiness to be able to do that for, for the city. Um, we uh, want this to serve as a, as a inspiration that everything is possible with, with a little bit of hard work and, and a lot of heart, because it took a lot of heart to, to become the canine handler and, and for her to become the, the explosive recognition dog. Um, this is an inspiration for, for our, our uh, community, for the kids to have that willingness to do and get into the unknown to, to be successful. So um, uh, thank you very much again for giving me the opportunity to, to make this a, a better place, Laredo, and, and make it a, a safer place for, for everybody. Thank you. Now I invite everyone to come up, especially council members um, and city departments and uh, chief, maybe also the canines, so that we can do the ribbon uh, cutting at this moment. Three. <laughs> Yay. All right. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just go up. Yes. One, two, three. All right. Thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> and take care of it. <laughs> <laughs>